welcome Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Um, I hope you had a good week. Go check out the full moon reading. Um, that is the full moon in Capricorns. So Capricorns, be aware of this. Um, this week begins the full moon on Sunday. So go check out the full moon reading. Somehow, ladies and gentlemen, I have been having something there. So Capricorns, full moon is coming up. Okay, there is just some issues the full moon is coming up and you gotta be aware of what is transpiring it is an eclipse full moon in the sign of capricorn so capricorns be alert because something or someone is going to be leaving your life okay so um be advised um to be very careful out there capricorns because there is a lot that is going to be coming up in this week and something is leaving your life and removing out of your life once and for all. So let's see what you, um, before we go um, in there, let's see what's coming out. I see release Capricorn. The full moon is an eclipse full moon. You get release. The end of a phase in your life, situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on release it is time to move on capricorn so whatever is happening in your life release this situation this person it is time to move on okay let's see what you're having so some of you are having a situation with your your business some of you are dealing um with issues at the workplace some of you want to start your own business um, then we see unexpected surprises is going to be coming in for people who have their own business. Some unexpected, unusual surprise is definitely going to be coming in and surprises at the workplace. So I see some news or someone is, uh, um, if you're doing business international, I see a lot of people internationally is going to be connecting with you. Someone is coming in from afar to tell you something People with kids, your kids could be returning home or you could be going on vacation or you could be connecting um, with kids or going on a vacation with kids. People who, women who have business, I see some unexpected luck is going to be coming in for you. Then I see some sadness. Sadness is here. It could be on Friday, sadness because of a debt or some transformation. It could have been a sister or a family member some transformation is definitely coming up so be aware i see happiness and joy a whole lot of happiness and joy is going to be coming in for you capricorns because finally something is ending and some new positive alignment is coming in your world there you can see the um the rainbow the rainbow is coming in people at work um uh, working ladies, I see you're going to be happy that a problem or a situation is ended. So this is going to be good. Some unexpected um, surprises coming up for you working ladies. Whatever is happening, some unexpected surprises is going to be coming your way. Now, I see that some of you have an enemy. And whoever this enemy is, they're very desperate. So you have a woman enemy. And whoever this person is, is very desperate because of something that they have done. I see truths are coming out and uh, this person is very desperate. So some of you um, um, have an enemy and it's a woman and this person is extremely, extremely desperate. So I see some unexpected luck is going to be coming in twice, twice luck. So surprise is coming in for you ladies so whatever is happening some unexpected surprise is coming in for you ladies and it could have to do with money okay so let's go in and see what the angels have for you capricorns i always have this when i'm doing the readings um at this time of the day and this is in the evening um i always have this like sort of a dark flagginess that is going on so um it's not your um equipment it's just i don't know but the rainbow is here so you guys can see the rainbow it's very beautiful 
so unexpected surprises is um coming in and yeah i was asking if i was gonna eat now it's dinner time but i'm gonna do my capricorns and then i go um happy fourth of july i miss fourth of july i'm gonna celebrate here anyway in europe so I'm gonna go uh, get my barbecue stuff tomorrow. We're gonna sit on the garden and barbecue 4th of July. Um, it is uh, supposed to be a sad one, but guess what? Life goes on. So let's look and see what is coming out with your business, okay? So I see this King of Cups, whoever this person is, some of you, it could be your boss at your work. You're dealing with this person. Um, it could be someone who you're working with in order to create. And I see the king of cups and the king of wands. So um, some of you are dealing with your boss, that is a fire sign, and um, your boss, that is um, a water sign, um, which is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, and these two people. And they have something to do with your business, okay? So whatever it is, you could be doing business with these people. I don't know, but I'm not really liking these two people because I see that they could have worked against you in the past. So if they come back in order to um, connect with you, I would not go in business with them, okay? Then I see success. You are going to be successful over these two businessmen. It was a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, or an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You're going to be very successful. I see surprise is coming in. A, su a, surprise. a surprise is coming in, and this is going to be good, so... I love this for you guys. A surprise with the sun. It's perfect. Whatever is happening and transpiring, it's very perfect. You're going to be successful over a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man. You are going to be have a successful new start. Unexpectedly, what has happened and transpiring is that uh, there was some issue that two businessmen had created for you. These two businessmen was very deceptive and they have created some issues. And I see unexpectedly, surprisingly, truths came out and you are successful over these two deceptive person. And I see you're turning your back and walking away from a fire sign man and his deceptiveness that he has created. So um, that is so good, so positive. Then you're dealing with um, someone, a visitor. Who is this visitor? Um, this visitor is coming in. I see someone from another country is coming in or someone is visiting you. So some of you are going to be receiving a visitor. Whoever this person is, is from another country or another nationality. I see they could be coming in. It could be your child that is returning. Whoever this visitor is, I see that um, whatever that was transpiring was with a cancer. Um, they're going to be either calling you up or trying to connect with you. Is this what you want? Because the cups are in reverse. That means you are emotionally not happy to hear from this person. Um, but I see this person is going to be contacting you. Um, it's not that you're going to be happy to hear from this person. So whoever this person is, is a cancer. And you're not sure if you really want to um be involved with this first and now i see a legal suit or a law issue or a legal issue that is happening for you ladies with kids whatever that is transpiring i see the four of swords is here and they're turned down so i see that some of you with um kids needs to get some rest okay you're very busy with the kids um work kids you need to get some rest i see a whole lot of conflicts the 10 of uh, the Ten of Wands, some legal issue, a whole lot of conflicts, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. I see you're dealing with some legal issues and some conflicts, some burdens. If you had a legal issue, I think this burden is going to be over. So that is good. Sadness comes up. And I see that some of you who were um, um, dealing with a Taurus, I see you're saddened over some issue and some situation. Help is going to be coming in. I see a lot of you are saddened, but help is definitely going to be coming in. There is no reason to be sad because I see whatever is transpiring, help is going to be coming in. So some of you could be saddened over some financial loss. Yes, I told you help was going to be coming in. And uh, 
um some of you have lost a whole lot of money um whatever is happening and transpiring i see if you're in a relationship with a taurus also there is some sadness of this um, person it could be that this person has passed away or this person has created some issues in your life so whatever hardship financial hardship you're dealing with it's going to be over um, whatever the deceptive play that was created is going to be over and the hardship because you are going to be really really um, overcoming successfully overcoming whatever the deceptiveness with a whole lot of money you're going to be successfully overcoming this and the money is going to be returned to you so um as we see you were saddened because you have lost a whole lot of money they're seeing the truth they're finding out the truth and they're um understanding what exactly has transpired it has to be some situation to do with a taurus whoever the taurus is uh, could have taken some money from you or could have uh, um yes and what i'm seeing now is that they found out what has transpired the eight of pentacles so i see some of you ladies at work some of you working ladies so what is going to transpire i see some information is coming out about you working ladies so you, you young working ladies i see information is going to be coming out about you um, some of you wanted a new contract. Maybe it's not going to be coming in some, but for some of you, yes. So some of you could have need, wanted a new position or a new contract. It, it can come in, but the magician is in reverse. It could be that some of you, um, business is slow down, but for some of you, business is going to be good. So I'm getting two, um, um, energies, that is coming in for you working ladies but especially working ladies people who work for someone that you um your pay come from someone i see what is happening here in transparent a new contract you are open for a new contract it's not going to be coming in but for the people who work for themselves it is going to be um good so um it is a lot ladies and gentlemen let's um look at your enemy and before we go forward we're going to be looking to see what is the mo the focus of this week? I see a whole lot of messages, a whole lot of meetings, a whole lot of gatherings. It could be father, family gatherings, a whole lot of meetings, a whole lot of messages. And it's all about work. Uh, it's all about someone from abroad is trying to reconnect with you. So unexpectedly that someone could be um, telephoning you, calling you or trying to connect with you. There is a whole lot that is transpiring, but it's a whole lot of gatherings and meeting. Some of you who have a business, they are looking at what has transpired because they saw that a Pisces Cancer, um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion and an Aries or Sagittarius man had done some deceptiveness and truths are coming out. You're dealing with your enemy. This is a female enemy. Whoever this female enemy is, is very desperate and is using negative forces in order to affect you. So you got to be aware. Okay, you got to be really aware. And I see you need to protect yourself. So um, this female enemy could be um, the queen, the queen of cups. So whoever this female enemy is, the queen of cups. So you got to be aware of this person. It is um, it is a very de deceptive person. It is the Queen of Cups. It is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. So you have a female enemy and you need to protect yourself from her. This is an evil, little nasty person. They use only negative energies. So you got to be aware of this female energy. It is definitely a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. This person was caught. They're very desperate because they were caught. They were caught using your information or accessing your information and it's a pisces cancer a scorpion person and they are going to be trying to use negative energies um to affect or create some issues but um you know already so you gotta protect yourself the nine of wands so some of you are dealing with this uh, um some of you um to be honest whoever this person is this person is a psychopath, a really sick person, and I see um, death is coming for her. 
um, whatever she has done, I see they caught upon her. And um, this is a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion woman. They have caught upon her. Um, whatever she has done, she um, was working against some of you for a very long time. And they finally, finally caught her. So this is the reason why she's so desperate and using negative energies to affect you. But it is going to be bouncing you are going to be standing up and protecting yourself so this lady is like a little criminal okay she thinks that last week she came up and i said that they were going to catch her because she think that she was a cat pajamas okay well now she's a cat pee okay so whoever the spicy cancer scorpion woman is she thinks she was what but um wake up lady because uh, you gotta you gotta crawl back on the whatever rock you came out of so ladies and gentlemen, you're dealing with um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion woman. Um, you got to be aware of this woman in this week. Stand your ground, protect yourself, and I'm off. Lawyers, you're going to be getting out of whatever issue and is, uh, situation. Unexpectedly, some resolution is going to be coming in and you're going to be getting out of whatever you were in, your lawyers, okay? So um, like, there is going to be a whole lot of meeting um, because people are looking at some deceptive play that um, someone overseas has done. Um, this is a young um, Aries that has done some deceptive play. There is no happiness for this person because whoever this person is, they're investigating this person. They have seen that this person has created some deceptiveness. The Six of Swords where this person had lied and created some deceptiveness. They're investigating who this person is, okay? I gotta go. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.